Hey everybody, it's Jordan from Don't Buy the Hype here with a uh, College World Series update. Uh, first, want to give you a recap of what's happened so far and then give you some predictions moving forward. Uh, obviously, we're down to three teams now left in the College World Series. Arizona has made their way into the finals. Uh, you've got uh, South Carolina and Arkansas playing a game this evening, which I'll preview here in just a bit uh, to determine who's going to match up with Arizona in the championship series. Um, let's look at bracket one first. Let's take a look there and, and, and see what's happened so far. Obviously, I picked UCLA to come out of bracket one. Uh, surprisingly, even to me, they didn't make it. Um, you know, a couple things about that bracket. First of all, I did tell you I didn't think Stony Brook would win a game, and they did, and they were the first team out. Um, you know, once again, Florida State goes out. Um, you know, this is now, I think, 21 times, uh, as I told you in the preview, 21 times that Mike Martin's been to the College World Series and zero championships. Uh, you know, you, you, it makes you wonder. Uh, you'd think the law of averages would kick in at some point, and, and, and you know, the Seminoles, as great a team as they had, uh, you know, at some point you'd have thought they would have won a national championship by now. It's amazing that they really haven't. Um, you know, you think about all the teams, especially, you know, he, he didn't bring the best squad into the series this year, but a lot of those teams in the late 90s and early 2000s, uh, you know, were odds on favorites to win the national title and didn't get the job done. Uh, but it'll be interesting to see moving forward if Mike Martin ever does pick up a national championship. Uh, UCLA, uh, the reason I picked them to come out of this bracket was because I thought they had the best pitching. Uh, usually pitching, uh, you know, will, will, will get the job done in the College World Series, especially with the new bats. Um, that said, you've got to give a ton of credit to Arizona. Not only have they had great pitching, I think the whole, you know, the whole course of that bracket turned on Connor Wade's complete game shutout uh, of UCLA. Uh, and not only have they had great pitching, but it really hasn't mattered who you know who stepped on the hill for the other team. They've been hitting, you know, hitting the ball everywhere, uh, no matter who's been up there. So you know, I think Arizona is that hot team. They've done an excellent job. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm 99 percent sure they haven't even lost a game in the postseason this year. Uh, you know, they swept through the regional, swept through the super regional, and now have gone three and zero in the uh, you know in the College World Series. So they move into the uh, the finals. Uh, which will start uh, later on at the end of this week. Um, or actually, I think it's the first of next week when they start, maybe Sunday or Monday. Uh, but anyway, bracket two. Uh, bracket two has, you know, a couple of surprises. First of all, uh, Kent State won a game. Honestly, I thought they'd be the first team out. I told you that in the, uh, in the preview. Uh, Kent State won a game over Florida, not Florida out. They were actually the first team to go home in the bracket, uh, which was awful surprising to me. Um, you know, I, I told you I thought Florida had the most talented team coming into the College World Series. I still believe that. Uh, you know, it's amazing when you look at, at the, the Jack Leggett coaching tree, and I may have to do a blog on this at some point. You look at the coaching tree and some of the coaches like Tim Corbin, uh, Kevin O'Sullivan, guys that have come from his assistant staff, and even Leggett himself, uh, you know, and how none of those guys have won a national championship. Uh, you know, they're taking some great teams. Uh, I, you know, I'm pretty sure I know Florida was the number one seed this year. I'm pretty sure they were last year as well. If not, I thought they were the most talented team. I picked them to win last year, uh, you know, and, and they haven't gotten the job done. Um, you know, it, it's, it's amazing. I don't know why that is. I don't know what happens. It just seems like when all the chips are on the line, they just play really tight. Uh, they don't play loose. It doesn't look like they're having fun. Uh, you know, they go out there and play really tight, and they always lose games that they shouldn't. Uh, that happened with the Gators. Uh, Kent State, like I said, did win a game. I think Scott Strickland is a heck of a coach. Uh, you know, he's a Kent State now. He's a Kent State guy. It'll be interesting to see if some of these big programs don't come calling. Uh, you know, I've heard uh, his name mentioned for the Michigan job. Uh, you know, possibly he could land there or he could, you know, wait it out a couple of years and maybe land a, a, a job back down south if one comes back to the ACC or the SEC. Um, you know, that leaves us with, with the two teams that are left in bracket two which is Arkansas and South Carolina. Uh, as you saw yesterday, South Carolina won two games uh, to force a, an elimination, a winner-take-all game this evening. Uh, you know, in, in terms of a preview for that game, I, I think it's really going to come down to the pitching again. Uh, you know, Arkansas has a, uh, you know, they got a loaded arm with, uh, with DJ Baxendale going he through a gym against Kent State in game one of the, uh, of the College World Series, their first game. Uh, you know, I, I think Baxendale, he, he had a, a pretty good start uh, against Carolina back earlier in the year. I think it was seven innings. He didn't get hit for any runs until I think uh, Carolina had a four-run seventh uh, in that first start. They, they knocked him around in one inning. Uh, you know, the Baxendale would be is the key to the whole game. If he can come out and shut down South Carolina, uh, you know, and if Arkansas can get ahead, I think they've got a really good chance. Uh, that said, if you flip to the, to the other side, uh, South Carolina has obviously all – 
the momentum because they won the game last night and they have all the experience. They've done this plenty of times before. Uh, you know, they, they've you know they've won the last two national championships. Uh, you know, they got a guy Colby Holmes who I believe is seven and two uh, on the hill tonight. You know, a, another good starting pitcher. Uh, you know, the great thing about their games yesterday was their starters went deep in the game, so their bullpen is locked, loaded, and ready. Uh, you know, if Holmes doesn't fare well, uh, then Ray Tanner can always go to a deep bullpen and, and, and bring some arms out there that can get some outs. Uh, one interesting stat I saw today was that, uh, you know, no one has scored more than four runs on South Carolina this entire postseason. Uh, you know, even in Arkansas's first win, they didn't get to four. Uh, you know, it'll be interesting to see, you know, can Arkansas come out early and, and, and maybe get Holmes for a couple of runs. If they can, I think they're going to have a good chance. Uh, on the flip side of that, I really do think South Carolina will win this game tonight. Uh, you know, like I said earlier, the experience factor, uh, you know, the great pitching, the incredible defense. Look at their defense. Watch their defense play tonight. I guarantee you there will be three or four five-star plays uh, throughout the game just because that's what they do, especially on the big stage. Uh, you know, they pitch it well, they throw strikes, they field it. You know, all the little things that it takes to win ball games, that's what South Carolina does. Uh, you know, I think the experience is going to be a big factor tonight. Uh, you know, obviously the only way to, uh, to counter that for Arkansas is going to be for Baxendale to have a good start. Uh, you know, if this turns into, you know, any type of, of high-scoring game, I really do like South Carolina to win. Uh, but I do think the Carolina Gamecocks will win tonight, and they will move on to face Arizona in the National Championship Series. All right, so if you have any questions, comments, concerns, if you want to talk college baseball, again, I'd love to do that. I always love talking college baseball. Uh, you can leave a comment uh, below in the comment box. I'll get back to those. I answer those as quickly as I can. Um, you know, if you see this on YouTube, uh, drop me a YouTube comment. We'd love to talk college baseball with you at any time. Uh, you know, be looking for tomorrow or, or, or Sunday. I'll be putting up a, a, a championship series preview uh, with a prediction on, on how that's going to turn out. Um, obviously, I did have UCLA winning the whole thing prior to the start of the series. Obviously, that's not going to happen, so I am going to kind of hit the rewind button a little bit and, uh, and make a preview for you with a prediction for the College World Series championship. All right, so have a great day, guys. Don't buy the hype.